name's Ollie and welcome to my channel. I am super, super excited today because I have just received my first ever PR package. This was all gifted to me by Technique. So I have got a full face worth of makeup in here and I also have some skincare bits. So we are gonna be doing a full face of Technique makeup. This is gonna be a first impressions video. I've never used any Technique products before. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. These products were just simply gifted to me and these are gonna be my complete honest opinions. I had all of these sent to me about a week ago now. So I haven't actually opened any of it because I wanted complete first impressions um, to be on camera. Now I'm not necessarily gonna use every single thing that they sent me in today's video, but you will see it throughout my channel over the next few videos. So they have very, very kindly gifted me a full face worth of makeup. Just before I get into this video, I just want to apologize for the state of my hair. If you haven't already seen my hair tutorial video, hop onto that one, because then you'll know why my hair is like this. So they have sent me this gorgeous box full of goodies. Um, like I said, I've never used any Technique products before, so I'm really excited to see how they perform. Let's just do a little rundown of what they've sent me. So I've got a Technique Pro Finish Foundation. I believe this one is in shade Honey. A rose primer oil. Two of the three-in-one canvas um, concealers. So I got these in a darker shade and a lighter shade so that I can actually use them to highlight and contour. Technique Mega Glow Highlighter Palette. Technique Mega Matte Bronzing Powders, once again, four different shades. Technique Blush Palette. This one is in the Warm Edit, so this is for more sort of tanned, warmer tone skin. Um, this is really nice as well because it actually has a mixture of matte and shimmer shades. So depending on your preference with blush, I usually prefer a matte. I'm quite interested actually to try a shimmer because I've not used one before. Technique Brow Pomade Powder Duo. So as you know, I don't usually um, actually put any product in my brows. I will just use a clear mascara. Um, so I'm actually quite intrigued to see how this one performs as well. Um, to see if it's something I actually want to start incorporating into my makeup routine. A Technique lip kit. This comes with a gloss and a lip pencil. And this one is in shade Tulip. Now, if this comes out this kind of color, I'm not too sure if it's gonna be a little bit too bright for me, but we'll give it a go. We'll see how it looks. They've also sent me this, which is really interesting. I've never seen anything like this before. Color Fix Correcting Pressed Powder. If you look closely, it's actually got like all these little dots. Um, and I'm assuming that's supposed to be like colour correcting, but yeah, I've never used anything like that before. So I'm going to try and attempt to use this as my setting powder today. Technique Skinny Mascara. I've had a little look on this and it doesn't say it's in any particular shade, so I'm not sure if they stock different shades of it. But usually mascara is quite thick, um, but I did have a little look at the wand on this one and it's so thin and like dainty, so that actually might be really good to stop your lashes clumping up. They have also sent me two different eyeshadow palettes just here. Invite Only Pressed Pigment Eyeshadow Palette. This has a mixture of mattes and glitters and shimmers in there. And then I also have this one, which is a Pressed Pigment Palette um, from Technique also. Now, as you guys will know, if you watched my first makeup video, I don't usually dabble into eyeshadow too much. I've only ever worn eyeshadow once, and it was a bit of a messy, smoky eye. I'm gonna have to have a little play around with these um, and try to get used to them. What I might do is like trying eyeshadow for the first time, um, and sort of maybe follow someone else's YouTube video and see if I can like, create a look. So I'm not actually going to use these in today's video purely for the fact that I don't want my poor eyeshadow skills to sway your view on the rest of the products. And then they have also sent me this, which is probably the thing I'm most excited about trying. Now this is called Magic Mist, if you can see, and it's actually a setting spray. But when you give it a shake, it goes all glittery. So I'm really excited to see how that kind of comes out. And then they have also sent me a hydrating sheet mask and a lip oil which is in the mint flavor. So I'm gonna start off today with the Technique Rose Priming Oil. So I have actually got my big mirror just there. So if I'm looking this way a lot, 
that is why. It's because I'm checking that I'm not messing up my makeup. I've got like a really important couple of days coming up where I'm going and visiting a friend who I've not seen for quite a long time. Um, so if any of these products break me out, I'm going to literally be so, so stressed. Do you know what, actually, now that I've kind of rubbed that in, it feels really nice. It's soaking in really, really well. And I'm sure as you can see on my skin, it's kind of leaving like this really subtle um, kind of dewiness. But it just smells so nice. I love floral scents. It's quite nice. It doesn't feel greasy at all. It is actually quite lightweight. And now that it's on my face, it's kind of soaked in a lot. So all of these products are going to be linked down below with all the information and all the pricing. So that was the Technique Rose Primer Oil. Um, so yeah, it feels really nice on my face. The only thing I'm going to say is I'm a little bit concerned that it might cause my makeup to not last as long because I do have naturally oilier skin. Um... But we'll wait and see. It might, it might not, so. So the foundation they have sent me is the Technique Pro Finish Foundation. Now I think this is one of their flagship products and I'm pretty sure it's only recently been released because when Technique messaged me they said that I need to pick my shade quick because they are running out really, really fast. So that's always positive, you know, if they're selling out really quickly. Um, it's probably a good thing. Obviously I have just had a spray tan yesterday so this might not be a bang on match. So it comes in a pump bottle which I really really like because I always think when it's like um, an open top it just makes me feel a bit like a bit mucky. It doesn't say what the finish is supposed to be like. It just says pro finish. <laughs> so I'm not sure if we're gonna get a matte or if we're gonna get more of a, oh actually that is quite dark. I'm not sure if we're gonna get a matte or if we're gonna end up with more of a um, silk finish. I don't know. Do you know what? I don't think the shade match is gonna actually be too bad because I do always blend down quite far. I'm not noticing any smell so this doesn't have any scent to it, which actually I think I normally prefer that with a foundation. This doesn't seem as full coverage as my usual mix. Um, it seems a little bit more sheer, but I can layer it up quite nicely. I don't know what I think about this actually. I really can't make up my mind. Do you know what? I haven't switched up my foundation routine in such a long time. From the looks of it, I would say it's more of like a natural slash satin finish rather than a matte. As you can see, it has got a bit more of a sheen to it. Bear in mind as well, I do have the priming oil on underneath, so my skin is naturally going to have that kind of glowiness. Um, but yeah, I quite like it. So I've got no powders, nothing else on yet, just the foundation. I think the reason they haven't stated the coverage is it's very, very buildable. So far, I'm giving the foundation a big thumbs up because for £6, it's a lot cheaper than my current foundation routine. And at the moment, I like it just as much. One thing I would definitely say for this foundation as well is I don't seem to be creasing anywhere yet. With my current foundation routine, I crease really quickly. So they sent me two concealers in two different shades. So the shades that they sent me are... I have shade chestnut and shade porcelain. So I'm gonna use these to contour and highlight with a little bit. So it's got a massive applicator. It looks quite similar to the Shape Tape one. This doesn't have any scent either. So I'm just gonna pop dots of that down each cheekbone and then a little bit on my forehead. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be way too much on my forehead. Like, why did I put this? Really <laughs> scared. Um, even as a contour shade, I just feel like this might be a little bit more than what my skin needs. I'm not sure how this is picking up on camera, but I have to say, I think I was wrong because now that it's blended, I really like it. 
I kind of like this whole video so far. I'm like, mm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But actually, I've really liked everything once it's kind of in place. Um, we'll see in the editing. If I like it, then cool. So that is the um, dark shades of contour that I'm going to use. So that was shade chestnut in the concealer. And I've just used that up here and on my cheekbones. I'm now going to move on to the lighter areas of my face with shade porcelain. I'm now going to use the clean end of my beauty blender just to blend all of this in. Oh no. Oh, we've made a grave mistake. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's okay. Oh, I don't know, guys. I feel like this concealer is like just the wrong tone. It's not that it's the wrong color or anything. I just think it might just be too contrasting, like, Unless I'm just using it completely wrong. But this is how I always use the cream contour. I look crazy. Never get sent a PR package again. <laughs> I mean, if I went out looking like this, you guys would be like... Do you know what? I think cream contour just isn't for some people. And I think I'm one of those people that it just isn't for. I have used um, cream highlighting contour products before, but not for quite a long time. So I don't know if it's just because I'm out of practice or what, but I think it looks good now. I think the concealers worked pretty well for highlighting and contouring. It does seem to have quite a good coverage. And as you could see from earlier, the pigment is like... So yeah, now that I've toned all of that down a little bit just by blending it all out, I think it looks a lot better. Okay, so after all of that drama, the next thing we're going to move on to is the powder. So like I said, I'm going to try and kind of set my face a little bit with this powder because they didn't include a setting powder. Okay, so this is the Colour Fix Pressed Powder. I usually use a loose powder, but yeah, like you can see, like I was saying earlier, it has these different coloured blobs. I'm just going to get my big fluffy brush. Do you know what though? Actually, that's worked really nicely just to set everything in place. You're perfect, Some you're beautiful, them. you look like Linda Evangelista, you're a model. So, I have just used the Colorfix powder um, just to set all of my face and I feel a lot better about everything now. So, I think this has just really helped all of the foundation to like set in place. I think it's just helped to blend all of my cream contour in. So, I'm actually really enjoying that cream contour now and I think I might start doing that on more of a regular basis. I was really nervous to make this video because I was like, I'm going to be 100% honest <laughs> and I was really, really worried that I might not like any of the products because I'm quite picky um, and I didn't want to like slag off the first brand that's like sent me PR but it's going really, really well so far. I've liked everything so Technique, you're doing a good job at the moment. So I am using the Technique blush palette. It's This one is the warm edit so more of a warm tone than a cool tone because that's what warm means. I can't get this out of the box. <gasps> Guys! Someone said help! Mm. That was an absolute palaver getting that out of the box. Oh my god, I'm telling you! <laughs> Why is everything so like... The packaging feels quite nice. I just can't open it. So these are the shades. I think I'm gonna use a touch of that one and then pop a little bit of this one on top. Okay, she's pigmented. Oh no, oh no. Oh my God, I've put way too much on. Why am I honestly such a makeup artist? Like, why is it down there? I think that one is just way too like pigmented for me. I've made a grave error. I'm just trying to buff this out a little bit with a powder brush and a little bit more color corrector. I don't think there's enough color corrector in the world to correct this. Like, honestly, that's actually helped quite a lot. 
So that one is very, very pigmented. So now that I've dulled that down a little bit, I'm gonna pop a little bit of the uh, kind of shimmery one on. So I'm just gonna take a literally a touch of that. Why are these so pigmented? Look at my face. <laughs> these blushes are so pigmented. You need to be really careful when you're applying them. The one that I'm used to using from MUA is nowhere near as strong as these. Um, and I think I've just been way too heavy handed with the blush. So the shades are actually really, really nice. You just need to be careful about applying too much. However, if you were going for the kind of e-girl, really cute, really, really flushed look, then they are probably brilliant for that because they are so pigmented and really, really bright um, pink shades. Okay, so here we have the matte bronzers. Now, I think it's really, really good that you've got like a selection of four, especially if you're someone like me and you fake tan a lot, you will know the struggle of your bronzer always either being too intense or not intense enough. So the fact that I now have four to choose from is fantastic for me. So I think today, because I've just had a spray tan, so I'm looking pretty bronze, I think I'm gonna go with this shade here, which is the darkest one. So that's just there on my finger. So I think I'm gonna use that one. These feel really creamy actually. Come through technique. So we are gonna pop a little bit of that one on our contour points. So let's go in. Okay, and let's see about popping one on, oh my God, there's these kids outside my house and they are screaming and I'm honestly gonna go mental if they don't shut up. It's honestly really difficult to apply bronzer in this lighting because even though it looks really well lit from there, from here where my mirror is, I literally can't see. To be honest, from mm, what I'm feeling at the moment, I feel like it's a little bit patchy, especially on my forehead, but I'm gonna stick with it. I'm now gonna move on to the Mega Glow highlighters. Um, so let me open this one up. Oh my god, why are these all so hard to open? So these are the four highlighter shades. This one to start off with. So let's see how this kind of rosy gold one comes out because that's the sort of shade I would usually use. Oh! That's naughty. Glazed donut vibes come through. Oh my goodness. I just want to, I can't stop. This is like glowing to the gods, the angels. This is glowing all the way around the universe, coming right back down to the moon. Mmm, I love it. Oh my god. Yes, this is how we do highlighters, guys. This is how we do it. We want it to glow. We want it to blend. We want it to be... Fabulous. This is... <laughs> Stunning. I'm gonna do my eyebrows next and then I will highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. This is actually probably what I'm most nervous for because I don't normally use eyebrow products. I have got the brow pomade and powder in shade light. I'd say that is literally spot on. I don't think you could probably get much closer. Now, I don't usually use any product on my eyebrows. I just use a clear mascara normally. So I'm interested to see how this one performs. Um, so I'm just taking a very small, tightly packed angled brush and I'm gonna just try and feather um, a few strokes through my eyebrow and then obviously pop a little bit of the powder in as well. So I'm gonna do that in the mirror because I can't do that freehand. <laughs> Girl, are you joking? See, this just proves that I don't normally use brow products because I've just been trying to use the powder as the pomade. Girl, the pomade's underneath, what are you doing? I have just put the pomade and the powder through my eyebrows. Like I said, I don't normally use any color products on my eyebrows, so don't come for me if they look really bad. But I am gonna pop um, the gel that I normally use on top of these just because I want it to be like a fair test and I feel like I'm gonna misjudge 
um, the look because I've not put the gel in my brows. I just think it's different. Like I'm just not used to seeing myself with this much eyebrow. I think the product is nice. I just don't know if I like it on me. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop a bit of this kind of champagne color on my brow bone. Okay, I'm feeling better about the eyebrows now. They just needed a little bit of a lift. Um, I feel like they were a little bit too heavy and they were sinking down on my face. But having that bit of highlighter in there has just really helped give them that definition. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so the eyebrows are done. So I did the pomade and then I did the powder through them as well. And I've just brushed them up with a clear brow gel like I normally would. The clear brow gel was collection. That one has nothing to do with my technique haul, um, but they didn't send me one. So I felt like I needed to use one just so that this was a fair test. So I'm also gonna pop a bit of highlighter on my inner corner. So for my inner corner, I'm actually gonna use the silvery white shade. I just want to see how pigmented this one comes out because sometimes white silver highlighters are just a little bit like lackluster. Okay, so as I'm sure you can see on camera, this is literally popping so much. I have to say, I think this white highlighter is a hundred times better than the white one from Primark that I was using in my other video. Perfect, so that's all of the highlighters done. So I've used the silver shade on my inner corner. This has got the rosy gold kind of shade. And then I've also popped champagne gold on my brow bone, on my lip, and kind of just throughout my face. Um, so yeah, this is honestly my favorite thing I've used so far. This is the time when I would usually pop my setting spray on. So I'm gonna just shake it up. So obviously, as you can see, it's got all these gold sparkly bits in. So I'm really interested to see how this works on the face. So it did feel like a very fine mist, which is good because sometimes setting sprays kind of squirt you. This is like bright, like, I'm glowing right now, like this is such a shiny makeup look. Okay, so, thoughts. It hasn't got any scent. That's fine, that's personal preference. I obviously usually use the Coconut Fix Plus by MAC, which smells like coconuts. So I do um, usually have a scented one. I don't mind the fact that it's not scented. It doesn't smell like alcohol or anything like that. It literally just smells like nothing. So I suppose that's a positive. Um, Obviously it has got glitter in it, so it is going to enhance the sparkliness of your face. Um, I already have a lot of highlighter and stuff on, so I'm just like glowing now from every, every angle. I'm just like a big glowy glow glow, you know. I quite like this, it feels very lightweight, the sprayer was really good, it wasn't um, too wet, it was a very fine mist. I quite like the glitter in there, I think in summer this will be a really really nice setting um, spray. So now that I've got the setting spray done, this is when I would usually move on to my mascara. Now for mascara I have this one which is the Technique Skinny Mascara. Okay so this mascara is like coming through, so I have got quite big natural lashes anyway. It has defined my eyelashes really, really nicely. I think it has added a little bit of thickness and a little bit of length. What I really, really like is that because this is thin, it's kind of like a, a bit of a bendy situation. So as you're kind of blinking down, this is moving with your eyelashes rather than it kind of just staying stiff. It kind of works with them. And I really like that. Yes. Oh my goodness, I'm literally living for this. I think I actually prefer this to like my MAC one. You can see how nice and full and long it's made my eyelashes look. They just look really like, really good. Okay, so now that I've got the mascara on, which I'm like loving, the last step on this makeup routine is gonna be the lips. So I have two lip products here. They've sent me a lip oil. Um, in mint and they've also sent me a lip kit which is a gloss and a pencil liner okay so I've just removed all the foundation from my lips so I'm gonna start by popping on the lip oil so I just want to see kind of how this one 
feels and if you could use it maybe as a like a lip gloss but a more nourishing version so this is in mint I think they've got a few different flavors uh, that you can choose from oh my god guys this is revolutionary okay so all I've got on my lips right now is this lip oil in mint it feels really really smooth and silky it's like I don't know how to explain it that is like nicer than any like Vaseline or lip product I've ever used it's like oh my god oh my god this is my new favorite thing um so you can see there's like no stickiness. It's literally not sticky at all. And um, there's a very, very, very slight cooling sensation from the mint, um, but it's not tingling. It doesn't sting or anything like that. It's just a little bit cooling, but it feels just so silky and smooth. And it looks like a gloss. This is like gonna be my new best friend, especially in summer where you don't wanna have too much on. But obviously it's an oil, so all it's doing is nourishing your lips, and it feels really, really nice. I would 1 million percent recommend this. This is going in my, like, new favourites. I absolutely love this lip oil. Okay, and then the last thing I have to review is the lip kit in shade Tulip. We have a lip gloss and we have a lip lining pencil. Ooh, that looks really creamy. So, I just, oh, okay. Do you know what? I thought I was gonna hate the color of this, but actually, it is vibrant, but I think in summer, this could be a vibe, you know? I honestly really, really like that lip liner, just with that little bit of lip oil on its own. It's just a really natural blush kind of color. And it just, oh, that's so nice. Okay, so this is where the vibrancy comes in. So if you just wanted a natural lip look, you could go with that lip liner and a little bit of the lip oil. And then if you wanted more of a vibrant kind of look, that's when you'd want to add in this gloss. I mean, this is kind of difficult for me to judge because usually I wouldn't go for anything this bright. However, I quite like it. Um, if it was summer and I was just like, you know, going for a day out and I just wanted something with a little flush of like corally gorgeousness, this would be a really good option. So personal preference, I preferred just the lip liner with the oil, but if you wanted something a little bit more colorful, if it was summer and you wanted that little bit more color to your lips, the gloss is a really nice addition as well. Or obviously you could just use the gloss on its own and that way it wouldn't have as much underlying pigment. It would be a little bit more sheer. So all in all, I think the lip kit is a really good option because you get like three different looks because you can just use a liner, you can just use the gloss or you can use both together. And because they are slightly different shades, you're basically getting three different looks um, for like the price of one. I'm really fussy with lip gloss and I can confirm this is not sticky at all. Fabulous, okay. Let me go and sort out my hair and we will do final thoughts. So that is the finished look. Um, in general, I liked pretty much all of the products. There was only a couple of things that I wasn't keen on. So let's do a quick run through on my um, thoughts and opinions on these products. I really, really like the foundation. I would 100% recommend this. It is more of a natural silk finish and it is very buildable. It's only six pounds and this was in shade Honey. I really liked the priming oil. Um, it's given my skin a really natural glow and it feels quite moisturized and nourished. Sometimes when I do my makeup, my skin feels really dry and um, I start feeling a little bit dehydrated. Um, but actually I feel quite nourished and hydrated today and I think 
think it's given my skin a really nice glow. The um, bronzer compact with the four different shades is probably the only thing that I tried today that I didn't really like, unfortunately. So I found that this one was a little bit patchy. Not the end of the world, um, and it is nice to have the four different shades. But for me, it just didn't really work that well. So I will keep this in my collection, but I don't think it's going to be my new go-to. Moving on to the blush palette. I really like this blush palette. It's nice to have the four different options. The only thing I would say is it's incredibly pigmented. You need to be really, really careful when applying this blush and only use a tiny amount. All four of the shades are very, very wearable. So I do recommend this blush palette. It's also really nice to have a mixture of matte and shimmer shades. Moving on to the highlight palette. Now this is probably my favourite thing in this entire haul. Highlighters are my favourite item of makeup and these ones did not disappoint. The fact that you've got four different but also very usable shades in this um, is a real, real plus point for me. I always use either silvers or champagne colours. These are super pigmented. As you can see, I'm getting a really, really fantastic glow from these. The Colour Fix powder, I'm a little bit undecided on. Um, it worked fantastically as a powder. It does what it says on the tin. It is a powder. Um, whether it did any colour correcting, honestly, I couldn't tell you. I didn't notice any particular colour correcting happening, um, but as a powder, it did work very well. The only thing I would say is I think I will be sticking to my normal setting powder. I personally prefer a loose powder to a pressed powder. The concealers that I used for my contouring and highlighting, obviously you probably saw in the video, I had a few issues with these. I think that really was user error. Um, so I'm not gonna blame The loudest plane or helicopter just went over my house for like 10 minutes. Um, yeah, sorry. These concealers that I used for my highlighting and contouring actually worked really, really well. You probably saw in the video that I was having a few issues with them. I think that was definitely down to user error. I think I used way too much product um, and I just needed to really persevere with the blending. They are a nice consistency. They're not too thick and gloopy, um, but they're also not liquidy, which is nice. Um, the shades that I have were probably a little bit too contrasting. I probably needed some shades that were slightly closer to my skin colour. The mascara that I used today was the Skinny Mascara. I think this is probably going to be my new go-to mascara, which is fantastic because it's a lot cheaper than MAC. So that's all I've got on my eyelashes right now is this mascara. I feel like it's giving me a very, very natural, defined look, but it's making my eyelashes look the best they can be. I absolutely loathe clumpy looking eyelashes um so i'm really really happy that i found one that doesn't give me clump and it just gives me that nice bit of length and volume the lip oil um i think i've said this like three times now but i think this is actually my dead set favorite product in this haul purely for the fact that i know i'm going to get loads of use out of this whether you're wearing makeup or not this is a good product because all it's doing is nourishing your lips if you want to have really nice full juicy lips then moisture is key. You need to keep them moisturized. Last but not least from what I used today is the lip kit. So like I said with the lip kit, this gloss isn't necessarily my favorite. I'm not that keen on the color. However, it has good pigment, good coverage, um, and it wasn't sticky at all, which is always a positive for a gloss. In summer, I will probably get use out of this. Um, however, for my everyday makeup, it's probably a bit much. Um, and then the pencil that comes in that pack is probably going to be one of my new go-tos. So this pencil on its own with the lip oil on top looks stunning. It's a really, really neutral, natural colour. Um, it's a really creamy pencil and I didn't have to use very much... I didn't have to use very much at all to do my lips today, which is good because that means it's going to last a long time. So definitely recommend these.
So like I said, I didn't use everything today that I was sent by Technique. Um, a few of the products I have put aside, so I will be using them in another video. So this is the finished look today. So I hope you all enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. Once again, I wanna say a massive thank you to Technique for providing me with all these products for this video. And without the support from all of you guys, I wouldn't be in a position where I'm starting to receive PR. Like, that's crazy. When I'm filming this, I literally have like 170 subscribers and I'm receiving PR packages. Like, what? So I hope you all enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. If you did enjoy today's video, please leave me a massive like and subscribe down below. It honestly means the absolute world to me. If you have any questions or comments about today's content or anything else you'd like to see from me on my channel, pop it all down below in the comment section. I do always reply to my comments and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.